in the episode four, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna start with this closing panel. I gotta get the old one cut out, get the spot welds in here drilled so I can put the new one in. That's where I'm gonna start with the new closing panel and then line everything up with that. So this is this project's gonna take a while. Uh, it's a lot of cutting and it's a lot of matching up and getting everything to fit and then it's a lot of welding. So uh, it'll take a while, but I think it'll be good. So I've got the car flipped over. I'm gonna take my cutting wheel and cut most of this out. And then that'll allow me to either drill out the spot welds or grind them out and then be able to clean it all up. So I'm gonna start with the cutting wheel and get this thing going. So instead of taking all the time to drill out spot welds, cause honestly that's kind of hit or miss. I'm just taking a grinder grinding it down and as it gets close you can start to see it starts to pull apart like it's doing right here hopefully you can see that and that tells me that i'm getting close then i just take the grinder and grind that off just faster this way uh, and you're gonna have to clean all this off this is all gonna have to be ground down to bare metal anyway all the rest has got to be taken off so uh, this is what I'm gonna do go ahead and clean all this off and then start dry fitting the the next piece in okay so I have it all cut out and cleaned up and well here's what I discovered I know. When I first got into it, I thought, oh man, I've got a little hole right here. I'm gonna have to patch. And then when I saw the big glob of body filler on the back side of it, I was like, oh shoot, I started grinding away. And that's what I ended up with. All right, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I should have cleaned all that off before I ever even got into repairing this. And you're probably right probably should have particularly if you look at the other side because it's all chewed up and it doesn't have body filler in it so if it's rusted over there it's probably rusted over here but that's okay now i know what i gotta fix back here and decide whether i want to replace this whole panel let that car go by or do i think i can patch this it's a lot of curves i don't know but uh let's take a look at it and see so what I ended up doing was just cutting straight across, cutting that out. If I end up replacing the whole piece, I'd have to cut it out anyway, uh, but who knows? Maybe I can make a replacement for that. But what I'm looking at, and I've kind of got these two pieces roughed in here, is how all this lines up. So it's, it's interesting because I had to look across the other way to see how this part right here looks other than with a big rust hole in it but just to see how it lines up so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix this hole and i'm going to fix this knowing that i'm going to cut this part anyway because this is going to get welded straight in not overlapping i don't think i want this to overlap because the outside panel is gonna overlap. And if I do, if I overlap this and overlap the outside panel, that's three things overlapping and I don't wanna do that. So I got a bunch of little rust holes to fix. I do have to fix this too, because it doesn't get replaced with the new uh, closeout panel. And it doesn't get re replaced with 
this outside trim either. So I need to fix these holes. I need to fix this hole. And I need to fix the one that's over here too. All that before I can even start putting in new pieces. I told you this was gonna take a while. So my first little repair, first of all, I went ahead and just cut this off. I drilled out the spot welds on the other side because I know I'm gonna ultimately end up plug welding back to this ridge right here. But this was rusted out and gone, so I squared it up, cut a little piece, welded it in. So now I'll grind this smooth and uh, cut it flush so that it's the same level. Um, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this based on what this that repair piece covers. So, but this was the little first piece I needed to do. Okay, I've been working for for a while on this back end and some of it came together really well and some of it didn't come together like I had hoped to. So, uh, let me show you where I'm at so far. So this uh, closeout panel for the trunk, I've already got it welded in. Um, this was pretty easy. It was just plug welding along the edge and because the rust was so far back, I had to cut an extra piece to weld in uh, to make it one long piece, which obviously doesn't have to be perfect because this outer panel is gonna get lapped over the top of it. Where I ran into problems were, I saw just a little speck of light coming through way over here. And so I thought I'll just shoot a little spot of weld on that. And of course it blew out because this, metal in a couple of places just, just so pitted with rust and I should have done that. So now I have to cut this out and actually find some solid rust or solid metal that I can weld to. I still got to fix this hole and there's a couple of little spots here, but also originally this line would have continued all the way over and why it's not that big of a deal. I could just leave it like it is, but obviously after I fill in these holes, I think I am going to go ahead and run this uh, this over. The other thing I did was, and I'm not sure you can see it, but I went ahead, I'll move this. So this piece was rusted and I cut it out. And so I had to kind of just, I actually used a piece of the old panel. This will get cut off because uh, it's too long and try to recreate this little angle so this will get welded in once I get the um, the extension of the wheel well the inner part of the wheel well figured out for that so I don't want to weld this in yet because I've got to make sure that I get it in I've got this outer panel exactly where I need it to be and I can't do that yet until I actually fix this little rust hole, little rust hole over here. So uh, this kind of, this part right here where it blew out kind of messed me up. You can see it right here, just blew out on me. These, every time I welded it, I welded from both sides, it just kept blowing out. So I'm gonna try to figure out, I may just cut a rectangle out right here and replace the whole big piece and do the same for this side over here. So I wanna get this fixed, fix the hole on the other side of the wheel well, and then start figuring out where I'm gonna cut. I said in the original part of this video, this was gonna take a while, and that is proving to be true. So a couple of things I've done at this point is I went ahead and cut this hole out and squared it off. And so I'm gonna to have to cut a piece that folds over and it'll get uh, plug welded to here, plug welded to here, and then it'll get just, <coughs> excuse me, welded straight to the uh, this panel once it goes in. So I've got that squared off and I'll just work on uh, cutting a piece for that. I also went ahead and cut this, a little bit of this wheel well out that was rusted. I'll show you something down here on the floor. 
So yeah, I cut this part out because I knew I'm at least gonna have to cut it down to there to get to where I've got to solid metal. And I've gone ahead and uh, clamped in the new piece. It's helping me see if this, sorry, it's helping me see if this piece up here is gonna make contact, which it will for me to be able to weld it to that inner panel. But what I did before I even did all that is I went ahead and measured the distance from here to here. So let me show you. So a couple of measurements I made was, I definitely wanted to make sure I knew what the distance was from here to the edge of where I've already cut. So before I even cut it off, <clears throat> I measured that and it was four and three quarter inches because when I go to put the panel on, it's gotta be able to reach and I wanna be able to keep it straight. The other thing that I measured was the distance from across the wheel well, and it was actually at nine, and right now it's about eight and three quarters, but I think once I get this actually attached, there'll be some flexibility in it, um, but I'm not sure exactly how important it is to get it right on nine. I measured the other side, and it's actually a lot wider than nine, so uh, I'm going to play around with it once I get it welded in and make sure that I'm right on the same measurement. But this measurement I definitely wanted to get, and I think I have that. So right now I think I'm ready to fix this uh, little um, hole over here. And then once I do that, I'll reclamp it all again and figure out how much of the new panel I'll cut off and how much of the old panel I'll get it cut off in order to get it to match up to weld it. Okay, I finally have this uh, piece patched in in the back here. Um, this back end is just a long process, and or it is, it's just much more harder for me, um, partly because you've got curved pieces, and I've got to make the patch panel like this one. I had to get the bend right, I had to get this curve right, and then get it all welded in. Um, I like where it turned out, but it just took a long, long time. So. I'm actually gonna stop this episode here, and I know I could do this whole back end in one episode, but honestly, it's hot now that it's summer, so it's, it's tough to find uh, time when it's cool enough to actually be in the garage. Plus, our schedules are just busy. Um, we went on vacation for a week, we've got stuff coming up. Um, so the times I'm having in the garage are a little bit uh, spread out. So for now, I'm gonna stop this episode, but in the next episode, what I hope to do is go ahead and start working on how this piece is, this inner uh, wheel well is actually going to go in. I've got to figure out what's, what's it going to look like. Am I going to try to tack weld it in and cut it or try to cut it to, to size before I actually put it in? Um, so I've got to figure all that part out uh, in the next episode. Honestly, that'll probably take an episode in and of itself then there'll be a whole nother episode of actually putting the quarter panel in. So again, I know it's taking a long time, uh, but the process is tedious. Uh, so stick with me and uh, see how it turns out. And if you've got suggestions, man, because you've done this before me, uh, put some uh, stuff in the comments and let me know what I should try to do differently. So uh, thanks for sticking with it and we'll see you on the next one.